I'm Joey Usry. I am a proud NAFA Texas member and, and also past president of NAFA Texas. And I am here today to introduce a good friend of mine and also the recipient of the 2021 NAFA Texas YAT Leader of the Year Award. I'd like to ask Rick what this uh, award has meant to him since this award recognizes those local members who have been very involved at all of the different levels of NAFA. And Rick, um, no one has done a better job of that than you. So I'd like to ask you what this has meant to you in terms of uh, your career and anything else that you'd like to add about NAFA and why our locals and why our members need to nominate uh, YAT leaders in their area. Yeah, thanks, Uncle Joey. Being in that category and and really earning my stripes through NAFA, um, I, I was honored to, to be the inaugural recipient of the Texas YAT Leader of the Year. But being able to to really pour into and to benchmark and, and to to build a foundation through your peers with without having that, yes, I, you can get stuff from your office, but being able to pour into Uncle Joey and to, to learn you know those lessons, sometimes you, you need the language from your uncle in order to really understand what your what your parents were trying to teach you all along. And I correlate that to whether you're in a big agency or you're a smaller operation, being able to surround yourself with people that are going through the same struggles that you are. I've, I've always enjoyed chatting with the ATS, local, state, and, and national level. It's given me this, this instant peer group that I could tap into and to have any sort of recognition, I, I think has further given me some, you know, the, the confidence to be able to, to, to branch out and to, to pour some of myself into other producers, which thankfully I, has been received somewhat warmly, I think. That's great, Rick. Well, it, it, it truly has been a, a great watching your career grow, watching you grow, uh, a lot of fun. Can you tell us what you think someone should be looking for in terms of nominating somebody for this prestigious award? Those that, are, that have a servant heart and those that are really pouring into the, the, the right things in, in our industry, that are going about business the right way, that, that honor the NAFA code of ethics, that people see that are, are willing to, to not just join, but to be very active and engaged, whether it, 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 in NAFA or you see their trajectory and you know that they're going to be rock stars within your, your, your operation or your business. Those are types of folks that if you just water them just a little bit, they grow so much more. And uh, th those are really the folks in your local associations that, that would and really flourish with you know, the recognition of being Texas yeah, Leader of the Year. That's great. Well, again, congratulations for that award. Thank you for all of your work and service. I, I know I know it's not over. I look forward to to uh, working with you and, and uh, spending time together. Uh, so thanks again, Rick.